everyone. Welcome to Graceway Kids. I am so excited that you're here. I hope you've had a great week spending time with your families and learning new things. I have some exciting news. This news is the most exciting news in the history of exciting news. This news is so big that it could fill a thousand ships. No, it's even bigger than that. This news is so big that if it were an ice cream sundae, it could feed a million elephants. Hey, do elephants even eat ice cream? Yeah, I probably should Google that. I don't know, but this news is big. This news is huge. This news is ginormous. Eh, I probably shouldn't tell you. I mean, if I tell you, then I give away the surprise. But hey, we could sing about it. I mean, if we sing about it, I'm technically not telling you. Yeah, let's sing about it. Come on, everyone, get up on your feet and let's sing. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> So last week we learned about three eggs. Do you remember what they are? If you guess the crown of thorns, the cross, and the spear, then you are correct. And you're super smart too.
those chickens are so funny. Okay, so this week's first egg is the light blue egg. Hmm, any idea of what you think it could be? Hmm, let me give it a shake. It's not making any noise. It's very light, definitely light. Let's just open it and find out. Hmm, it's a piece of cloth. Now, why would a piece of cloth be inside of a resurrection egg? I'll give you a minute to think about it. And while you're thinking, I'll give you the key passage. You can look at these key passages later in your Bible. So the key passage for this is Matthew 27, verses 57 through 61. All right, time's up. The name of this egg is Jesus's burial. So if you guess that they wrapped Jesus in a cloth when they buried him, then you are correct. After Jesus had died, they took his body off the cross and they wrapped his body in cloth. This is the way they prepared bodies for burial back then. They then laid his body in a borrowed tomb. Okay, on to the next egg. This one is a bright pink. Can you guess what's inside? Hmm, I'll let you look at it. All right, let's open it and find out. Hey, it's a stone. Now, why would a stone be inside a resurrection egg? I'll give you a minute to think about it. And while you're thinking, I'll give you the key passage. You can find out more about this egg in the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 62 through 66. So once they put Jesus inside the tomb, they rolled a large stone in front of the entrance. This stone was big and it was heavy and they sealed it shut. That way nobody could get in and nobody could get out. They even placed a couple of Roman soldiers outside the tomb just to make sure no funny business was gonna happen. So if you guessed that they rolled a stone in front of the entrance of the tomb, then you are correct. Okay, this is big news. This is exciting news. We have our last egg. Okay, so this is where we need to sound the trumpets. What, no trumpets? Ugh. Okay, well, at least we still have the fireworks. I, I don't know, I'm not seeing any fireworks. This is the last egg, where are the fireworks? Well, what do you mean they were cut from the budget? Uh, all right, well, what about some glitter? Do, do we have any glitter to kind of throw around? No glitter? Well, that's kind of a bummer. All right, we'll just pick it up. We'll just pick it up from the last egg. Okay, everyone, it is time for the last and final egg. This is the 12th egg, the last resurrection egg. And I am so excited because this is the big news. All right, I'll give it a shake. It doesn't make any noise. And it's super light. Any ideas? Okay, let's just open it and find out what's inside. Are you ready? Here it goes. Hey, this egg's empty. There's nothing inside. So I have to ask you, why would a resurrection egg be empty? I'll give you a minute to think about it. And while you're thinking about it, I'll give you the key passage. So you can find out more about this egg in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, one through 10. So the name of this egg is He is Risen. So do you know why this egg is empty? It's because so was the tomb. Yep, so that's the big news. So that empty tomb means Jesus is alive. We opened 12 eggs. 11 had something inside and the 12th one was empty. But the 12th one being empty is what made it the best egg of all. It's a reminder that the tomb where they laid Jesus is still empty. 
He's not dead. He is risen. So Jesus is ready and waiting to welcome you into his family. He wants to forgive you of your sins and give you a whole new life. This is why we celebrate the empty tomb. This is why we celebrate Easter. Hello, boys and girls, and happy Easter. So for today, I have two projects for you. I just couldn't decide which one I thought you might like better, so I brought both options to you. For the first project, you need a white piece of paper, tape, the best kind of tape to use is this blue painter's tape or maybe masking tape. You want to stay away from duct tape or anything that might be too sticky that you can't peel off when you're done. And then you need crayons or markers or even maybe watercolor paints. Anything that you can decorate your picture with. You'll take your white piece of paper, pull off some tape, and go ahead and put a cross right in the middle of it. Then you can take what your crayons or markers and go ahead and decorate your paper. For mine, I decided to make a sunshine picture. And when you're all done decorating, you can peel the tape off the middle and you get a beautiful cross. Now, when you peel off, you want to do it slowly. I got a little too fast and you can see I ripped my paper a little in the middle. So make sure you're patient and pull that tape off nice and slow. Your other project that I was gonna show you involves going outside. Now, it's been windy for a few days now, so I'm sure that if you look hard enough, you can find some little sticks, just like these, all over your yard. You don't want big ones, nice skinny little ones. When you've gathered enough sticks, you're gonna tie them into two piles. You have a taller stick pile. I only used about three sticks for this. And a shorter stick pile. Again, I used about three little sticks. I tie them together with ribbon. You can use yarn or string or whatever you might have laying around the house. After you've taped them together, you put the smaller one to cross over the bigger one and take the ribbon from the bigger one and tie it on nice and tight. Now, sometimes it might stay a little crooked. If you wanna make it a little bit more sturdy so it doesn't wiggle as much, you can take a longer ribbon and do a little X across the back, and that will hold it to be more stable. After you've tied ribbons on, you'll see you've made a nice little cross pattern. Now, when I was done with mine, I decided to curl my ribbons, and I even found some pretty flowers outside that I added on. But you can make as many of these as you want. You can decorate some with ribbons, some with flowers, or just leave some plain sticks. You can go and enjoy and make as many crosses as you want. Happy Easter, boys and girls. Hey guys. Hi. Hope everybody's doing well. We miss you guys. Um, happy Easter, by the way. Tomorrow is Easter. And today we're gonna be dyeing some eggs in celebration of Easter. Wait a second. We're gonna be dyeing eggs today and you're wearing your Gracely Kid shirt. Right. You don't wanna get that dirty, you should probably change. Hmm. Much better. Now that I'm in the right clothes, let's get started. So we've got our cups of vinegar and we've got our food coloring dye. So why don't you show us, Susie, how it's done? All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to start out with a half a cup, a half a cup of cold water All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to have three tablespoons of vinegar. Two. Three. Perfect. All right, and now the final step to making the dye would be to add the food coloring. So I think we're gonna add one, two, three, We'll do four drops of food coloring. Ooh. That looks so cool. Look at that. All right, and now I'm making blue, of course, because it's my favorite. All right, so we mix it all up. And there you go, you have dye. You could do any color you want. You could, we have the rest of the colors here, but we're gonna do that off camera. Bam! Now we have all our colors. We have green, blue, red, yellow, 
yellow, <laughs> uh, pink, and purple. Let's do this. So what we have here is a hard-boiled egg and a magic crayon. Now the way that this crayon works is whatever I draw on this egg, the, the food coloring won't show up. So we can do some cool designs with it. So I had an idea. I want to do... I want to do some red dye, and I want to make like a little dripping design. And it'll represent the blood of Jesus as it's dripping over the egg. It's washing it white. It's washing it clean, just like the blood of Jesus washes our sins away. All right, so here we go. We got Ethan over here working on his design. I'm just putting the finishing touches on it. You can't see anything right now, but once I dip it in, hopefully I did the design right, and it'll come out really cool. I hope so. All right, want to try and find out? Let's see. Drop it in there. All right, we'll wait a few minutes and come back. All right, so now we're going to work on my design. The design I chose is going to be Calvary Hill, where Jesus was hung on the cross. So I'm going to get started on that, and then Mr. Ethan will show you when I'm almost done. Okay, so let's take a look at the blood of Jesus one. Let's see how it came out. Ooh, that's cool. Wow, that is really cool. It didn't come out quite the way I wanted. It's not perfect. It's hard to see when you're drawn with those crayons, but I like it. I think it was really cool. It came out really nice. Okay, everybody. So now that we've got our finished product, let me just show you a few. So we've got the plain ones. This is just plain yellow. And then we did our design. See, we've got the, the blood of Jesus. And we've got the empty tomb right here. Cool. And yeah, I hope you guys have as much fun as we did. Bye, everybody. Have a nice Easter. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you for joining us for Graceway Kids. I hope your baskets and Easter eggs are full of fun surprises. I want to give a big shout out to Miss Heidi, Mr. Ethan, and Miss Susie for all your help. And a special shout out to Miss Gaby and her silly chickens for making our series so much fun. I hope you have a great week and I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.